This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey everyone, this is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. I'm here with my friend Mike. Uh, we're going to do a little how-to recipe on something that we call UP pasties. This is a deer camp recipe that we are going to try and do. We've never attempted it, but we are going to attempt to make it because we want to start a new tradition. We want to start a new tradition. So For our deer camp. We have a, a general idea of a recipe, but everything that we looked at involved using an oven. Well, we're out of deer camp. No ovens. No ovens, so it makes it a little bit tough to do that. So we're just going to kind of wing it. If you guys watched our YI video with Mike on why he likes to do a deer camp every year, mm -hmm. uh, this is something that we referenced, and these are called UP pasties, so hopefully it works out. And if it does, we'll post the video and you guys can try it. If you have any ideas or suggestions on how to cook this over a campfire that would improve it, <laughs> please let us know. <laughs> All right, so the first thing here that we're doing, we've just started off, we got a little bit of oil in the cook stove here. We've added some diced onions, carrots, and jalapeno peppers. We're gonna go ahead and add some diced potatoes, and we're just gonna let this cook for quite a while to kind of soften up the vegetables, and let those get a little bit more tender so it's a little easier to eat. So we're just gonna add some ground venison in here, and uh, now the vegetables have softened up quite a bit. We're gonna brown the venison, mix that up. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some Zatarin's blackened seasoning, just because it's what I had down here. I uh, would probably just bring some salt and pepper or something to put in there to season it with, but this is what I brought for the uh, catfish episode in the top to bottom series. It's handy, we'll try it, should taste good. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this pie crust here and we're gonna unwrap it and roll it out and we're gonna fill, put the filling inside of it. We don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> Maybe overstuffed. How's it taste? It tastes really good. Oh, great. Now in the movie, and most of the recipes that we saw, the UP version actually contains rutabaga. We could not find any when we went grocery shopping, so we are just omitting that, and in place of it, we added extra potatoes. So, eh, I'm a meat and potato guy, hopefully that'll yeah. work. Now we're gonna use a little bit of water to rub on the edges in hopes that that'll help it seal better. Just gonna pinch it down around the edges. Okay, so we're gonna put these in the cook stove, put them back on the fire and let them bake for about 20 minutes, I think, should do it. We'll keep an eye on it, maybe shorter. Well, we kind of came across a little bit of an issue that we didn't foresee happening. Um, like the, the the pastry is starting to burn on part on one side, while the other side doesn't seem to want to get cooked. And, you know, like we stated earlier, this is a trial. So, we're just still gonna work with what we got, and, and we're gonna still try it, and, well, I guess just wish us luck. Yep. See how it turns out. So we've went ahead and switched to more of the traditional cook stove style of cooking. We actually went ahead and put it in the coals. We've moved a lot of coals to the top. We're gonna see if we can start baking a little bit more like an oven. Due to our cooking technique, they're starting to look more like scrambled pasties. We're working on it and God willing, they'll taste good. We hope. We hope. <laughs> All right, so this is what we came up with. Some parts are burnt, some parts aren't cooked all the way through. That's part of deer camp. Live and learn, next time it'll be better. Next time we'll probably start off by doing a traditional cook stove style right off the bat, mm -hmm. which is where you put it down in the coals, put some coals on top and just let it cook that way. Probably would have made it a little bit better. But we'll try it and see how it is. Okay, right, here we go. <laughs> and I'm doing it first, I'm gonna select a piece that's not so burnt. <laughs> And here we go, this is our first attempt. Okay, so uh, here's our pasty recipe. It's a little bit of a fail, but <laughs> hey, well, how's it taste? We're soon to find out. It's still really hot, so. Surprisingly, it ain't that bad. Really? It is not that bad at all. So, I have to admit, tastes better than what it looks. 
not bad all in all good start um, this will be a new tradition we'll add every year for deer camp and hopefully it'll improve with each year we'll practice it a little bit during the off season it's all about living and learning being outdoors being with your friends having a good time wasn't a successful deer camp but it was fun and next year you know it's tradition we should start doing maybe actually make it out to the deer stand why would we want to do that crazy idea <laughs> all right hope you guys liked it uh, try it if you have any other suggestions or tips or comments you think we could do to make it a little bit better put it in the comment line and as always uh, please subscribe that keeps us making more videos yep. and uh, hopefully this helps and you'll have a good deer camp yourself and try some pasties in the future see you soon